Welcome back to the channel, everyone. If you're new here, hello, thanks for watching. If you like what you see, please like, comment, subscribe, do all those good things. This is Motor Mike Media, and as always, I'm Motor Mike, and today, let's talk about some of the Mopars and Jeeps from SEMA 2021. Now, I'm just going to cherry pick a few that I personally like, but you guys can let me know what are the ones that you like, or anything else from the SEMA show. I'll start with this three-road Wrangler, and I never would have thought of having a three-road Wrangler, but it's kind of cool actually. This vehicle is lifted different suspension components, different rims, different tires, more off-road ready. It has a worn winch integrated to the front bumper, a black grille with this tan body, but you can see that the, it is a hard top, but there's a bump in the top giving you more uh, headroom for the third row, as well as having safari windows. So if this was a real vehicle, you could take it out, have the whole family inside, look out the safari windows, or just remove the whole top and be able to fit as many people as you can. I don't think Jeep will ever make a three-road Wrangler, but it's kind of cool and different to see one. Another thing they had is the Kaiser Ambulance. Now, you don't really see a whole lot of Kaiser Jeeps anymore. The ones you do see are in museums or in someone's personal collection, like a large collection. But this one's fully restored, which is kind of cool to see because who would really restore an ambulance? But the cool thing was, not only was it done beautifully, it had an awesome modern power plant. A good old 392 Hemi V8. So having this cool uh, retro body, nice interior, but having a modern power plant, it's just something that's different and unique. They also had, obviously, a Jeep Grand Cherokee L. I kind of like this blue one because it's different. The blue with the black accents, as well as some gold accents as well around the emblems and stuff like that. The interior was blue too, this light blue with some gold accents. It was very different, but it felt very luxurious. They also had a 4xE concept. Now, I always like a Wrangler concept in general, but the 4xE is different. It's obviously the hybrid system. You can go like 21 miles of pure electric range, but this one was lifted. Big, beefy tires. Had a nice, mean look to it, but had the tube doors on it. So, obviously, the 4xE is only a four-door. So, you have two uh, doors on both of them. They're painted white to match the body. Had nice little accents here and there. It really sprucing it up. It was different and unique. I feel like we'll be seeing a lot of 4xE concepts as well as more uh, Mopar accessories for the 4xE. Now, other cool things was they had a Challenger, and I'm a big fan of the Challenger, but this was the holy guacamole one. So, obviously, it had an avocado-colored green to it, old-school wheels, it had a Shaker, old-school Hemi V8 engine, and I love Shaker engines, but the interior was cool because it had wood trim there. You have this nice plaid on the interior. It was different, unique. It was almost like a modern interpretation of a resto mod, if you will. I really like the Challengers, and anything that's a little bit different, unique, I'm a big fan of. Other cool things is they had a few Rams there. There's an Outdoorsman, which had blue accents. I really liked it because it was one that was like a mid-trim that was customized. I really don't like it when they take the highest trim and just customize it because that's not what we can do. Uh, us as a consumer usually buys a low-grade or mid-grade and customizes ourselves. So having this vehicle that was slightly lifted with some Mopar accessories, the back had these cool racks that came out of the bed. One had a cool cooler there so you can use it for overlanding. The other one had a bike. You can pull the bike out, get your bike out. Cool little accessories that made it different and unique. They also had a TRX there that was customized, like a Desert Runner. Uh, overall, these are the ones that I personally like, but Jeep and Mopar had a lot more things. And there's a lot more companies there. Uh, all the aftermarket companies are there at SEMA. But these are just a few things that I liked. But let me know what you guys thought. Uh, the things I talked about, what were things you liked and didn't like. And is there anything at SEMA that you saw that you liked personally? Let me know in the comments down below. And if you haven't already and you want to, please check out my channel. I keep trying to give you guys more and more content. It's about cars, trucks, crossovers, and SUVs, combustion engines, and EVs. A little of everything. But please, like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. That way you guys can stay up to date with the latest and greatest from my channel. And as always, I truly, truly appreciate you all for watching. And I'll see you all in the next one.